Assalamualaikum. In this video, I will explain the introduction to the normal probability distribution. Okay, a normal distribution is a continuous random variable where the random variable takes infinite values and it is countable. Sometimes we can also say that it is measurable. Now, what does it mean by uncountable or something measurable? Means that between two numbers, there is infinite range of values. For example, if you look at between 0 to 1, there is infinite range of value where you can have 0 0.11, 0 0.1112, 0 0.1113. 1, 3, and so on and so on. Okay, there are a few examples over here that you can see. For example, the heights of people, the time taken to finish a race, the blood sugar reading of patient. Let's say that the heights of people, you can say that the person can have 169 cm or 169.5 cm where between the two numbers 169 and 170 you can have that infinite of numbers same goes as time tickle and blood sugar now the continuous random variable can be represented by the probability density curve or most people call it the bell shaped curve or the normal curve this is going to be the bell-shaped curve. Alright? Okay, the properties of the normal curve. Now, normal curve is meant for the normal distribution. Where you can also write your notation for the normal distribution as such. X having a normal with the parameter mean and sigma square is a variance. Alright? Now, mean is this symbol and sigma square is variance but the parameter for the normal is basically only mean and sigma now you have to remember this okay now the normal distribution on the normal curve has a property says that symmetrical about the mean. If this is your normal curve, symmetry about the mean is in the middle part. X equivalent to mu. Alright. Now, the properties also says that it's the mean equivalent to the median and also the moon. The area under the curve, this particular part, is equivalent to 1. If you have the whole area is 1, half of the symmetrical is going to be 0 0.5. Where over this particular part is 0 0.5. Where this part is 0 0.5. And this particular part is also 0.5 another thing that you have to know is the standard normal distribution all right now if you look at the normal distribution x the random variable having a normal with the mean mu and sigma square the variance will have a mean at the middle part where x equivalent to mu but when your mu or the mean is zero and your standard deviation is one the parameter is one this one will actually give you a standard normal okay standard normal usually represented as the letter z we're having a normal with with zero and one Alright, remember that when your mean is zero, then it becomes standard normal. Okay, if you look at the bell-shaped curve, this curve is the normal distribution with 
the horizontal axis is x. And for our standard di normal distribution, it's the same bell-shaped curve, but you're going to get the horizontal is z. Now, your mean is still in the middle part, but started with the z equivalent to 0. Okay. Properties for the normal distribution and standard normal distribution is still the same thing. If you still remember, the total area under the curve is supposed to be 1. Alright? And the second thing, you can say that if your Px is less than mu, is the same when the Px is greater than mu equivalent to 0 0.5, right? This is 0 0.5 and this area is 0 0.5. The standard normal will give you Pz when less than 0 is 0 0.5 and this particular part also which is Pz greater than 0 is 0 0.5 okay another thing the standard normal distribution is used when you want to find the probability of normal we'll be using the standard normal table i will show you how to read the table and how to find the probability of normal distribution from the table in the later video so the question is how you want to change from the normal distribution to the standard normal distribution to change the normal distribution to to standard normal we will use the formula of standard score or sometimes we call it Z score. If you want to find the value of Z, the formula says that X minus by mu over by sigma. Okay. Alright, now that is standard score or sometimes we call it the Z score. Now changing from X to Z is we call it standardized. Again, later part i will show you how to use a standard score okay